So we are going to start using Terraform to create some resources within our AWS account. Now, the first thing we're gonna do here is actually create a new GitHub repository because this is infrastructure as code and it is code. And therefore we have something that we can check in to code versioning software. In this case, it'll be Git on GitHub. So we're gonna make a new repository. We're gonna call it Terraform course, a course about Terraform. I'll keep it private for now. I'm gonna add a git ignore and the git ignore template is going to be Terraform, which they conveniently have and the rest of this I'll ignore. So create repository. And then I'll head on over here and we can clone this repository. So get clone that into a new directory in here and I'll just call it Terraform course inside of here as well. All right, so CD Terraform course, we have a Git repository here. There's nothing in it except for the Git ignore folder here. We can inspect that Git ignore and see that it's set for Terraform. So it's gonna ignore certain stuff. Files ending in .terraform, TF state files. So files that track your uh, Terraform state. We'll get into that a little bit later crash log, override, and that's about it. We can um, change other stuff as well in here if we need to. For example, I'm going to ignore a DS store file or any files called DS store, which my Macintosh might add in here. I'm gonna also ignore a .idea directory that PHP storm is gonna create in this directory as well. So we can ignore that. We don't want that committed into our code. So get ignore updated, push origin main, and we'll see that reflected back into here where I have two commits and my second commit is get ignore updated. Okay, so next we need to configure some stuff in Terraform. Now Terraform has a registry and from its registry, we can see some stuff. Now the providers are what we care about here and the providers are um, a lot of things. But the most popular ones are AWS, Azure, Google, all this good stuff, um, clouds in which you can make resources using Terraform. We're gonna use the AWS provider. We can see the latest version is 3.25. The source code is in HashiCorp Terraform Provider AWS. If we go to Use Provider, we have an example of how to use it. So we can see this is some Terraform configuration for uh, 0.13 plus. I'm a, I believe I'm using version 0.14 at the time. Terraform, we see we need to configure a required provider. So we're going to tell Terraform what providers we want, the version or the minimum version we want, and the, the source is HashiCorp AWS. So this is the official HashiCorp uh, provider. It's going to grab it from the registry we see in the browser here and then provider AWS, and we need to add in our own configuration options. So we can go ahead and just copy this and head into PHP Storm. We'll go into our Terraform course area and we'll create a new file. We can call this file really anything. So I'm just gonna call it cloudcast.tf. The file ends in .tf, so for .terraform, and we can paste this in. So required providers in our Terraform configuration is AWS. We'll get version 3.25. So this is pinning a specific version. And then we have the provider AWS, which has some configuration options. We can head to the documentation for configuration options for the provider. And we need to add some options to the provider source here for this to work. You can see here, look, they did the about 3.0 version. So this will be the latest in the 3.0 um, major version of the AWS provider. So if we scroll down here, we're gonna see some uh, options, authentication. So how do we talk to AWS? For instance, you could just say your region and put some keys in there. So you can also export some environment variables and Terraform will pick that up. Here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to set my region and now I create this going to be US East 2. And then I'm going to set the profile because remember I set up my profile called Cloudcast to use specifically. So we can head back here and I'm going to say the profile I want to use is going to be called Cloudcast. And the region we're going to use in our case is US East 2. So this is just about a good spot where we can do some Terraform commands. So if I head back over here, Terraform version is the 0.14.3 and we can do Terraform in it and in it is going to read all the files in the current directory and do uh, some initialization of whatever it needs to do. Now, right now I just have cloudcast.tf, which has the AWS provider, its version, and the information on how to authenticate against the AWS API using my cloud class profile that I have configured. So you can see it's finding HashiCorp AWS version 3.25, installing it, and Terraform has created a lock file .terraform.lockhcl to record and the provided selections above. Include this file in your version control so that Terraform can guarantee to make the same selections by default when you run Terraform in it in the future. In other words, if you're working in Teams, make sure you get the same versions of stuff so everyone matches up. So successfully initialized, you can now begin working and you could run Terraform plan to see if there's any uh, changes it needs to make. Now, we don't have any configuration of any resources to make yet. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and see what it looks like to make a resource. We will make an EC2 server.